Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. I'm Peter Loshak. Today is uh, Thursday, May 24th. We're talking right now with Joe Gavassi from JoeGavassiSports.com. We're going to take a look at the uh, San Francisco Giants-Chicago Cubs game that goes in MLB uh, tomorrow afternoon at uh, 2.20 Eastern time. Pitching matchup is Derek Holland against uh, Kyle Hendricks. Derek Holland, of course, has uh, very, very questionable numbers overall on the year, looking very, very vulnerable. Kyle Hendricks uh, a bit better, but also with some iffy numbers. He's uh, been prone to giving up the home run as well. He uh, has some nice uh, strikeout to walk up uh, numbers, though, overall on the year. So uh, clearly an edge to uh, Hendricks in terms of the starting pitching, but uh, not necessarily a, a huge edge. Hendricks uh, looks um, a little bit uh, vulnerable himself going forward. And the Cubs, of course, as is often the case at home, a huge favorite. Uh, they're minus 200 to start. That's what I'm seeing right now for the early opening line. We'll see where this line moves. But as of Thursday afternoon, Cubs about minus 200 on the uh, on the money line here to open for uh, tomorrow's game against the Giants. What are you thinking here, Joe? I'm thinking Cubs on the run line here. As we'll translate that $2 price tag to a run line situation. It'll probably come in around even money. Now, each of these teams come in off a pair of losses. Giants visited Houston and were clubbed by a combined count of 15 to 3. Cubs were here in Wrigley earlier this week, played a pair against Cleveland, and took the worst of it, losing 11 to 1. I like the Cubs staying at home to bounce back. First of all, in the OPS category, Chicago, just the 12th best record in this league. But when you look at my combined OPS rankings, they are number four in Major League Baseball, and that is an absolute buy sign for this team against the San Francisco team who has both the 18th best record as well as the 18th OPS numbers. Clear value here in Chicago. We're gonna tell you why on that run line as well. First of all, the pitching, Holland wildly inconsistent. You can expect anything from him and probably nothing good today against the potent Chicago bats. By the way, we have an edge in the bullpen here with the Cubs also whose relief core has now escalated to number two in the nation, OPS-wise. Chicago, meanwhile, comes in with Hendricks, who is most consistent with his control and has a 44 to 11, in other words, four to one strikeout to walk ratio. I like pitchers like that who get to four to one or better. In fact, I've done studies showing their great success with a ratio of four to one or better. We're gonna play this game on the run line, noting that 10 of 11 Recent San Francisco losses have come by two or more runs, while for the year, 20 of 25 Chicago wins overall, backed by that strong bullpen, remember, have come by 20, have become by two or more runs. Run line numbers all over this one here, and we do so, translating the $2 price leg to a run line, even money, and take the Cubs here with Hendricks over Holland. Sounds good. Cubs on the run line. Joe Gavassi, tell us what you do at your website, JoeGavassiSports.com. Along with those OPS articles, which I update twice a week, I update the run line numbers, which I talk about here on these videos every week. You go there, scroll down through the OPS article. You can read about my run line, and I tell you which teams are 80% or better in run line situations, either home, away, or both absolutely numbers you need to have if you're going to make any kind of run line bet. Take a look at them. They're free up there at jogabuzzysports.com. Just click on articles. Thanks, Joe. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.